Hey guys, it's Ben. It is Sunday. I believe it's afternoon now. Yep, well, a little bit afternoon. Um, so yeah, just coming in to check in. Uh, Outlaw Nights is coming out on September 24th. That is officially nine days away. Got me nervous, got me excited all kind of mixed emotions um, yeah not not too much really I'm thinking about right now uh, I played through uh, the end of Final Fantasy 9 last night uh, again that's a really heavy ending to a video game I must say uh, the stuff with Vivi oof, get you right there oh man and, uh, yeah, just been trying to kind of, I guess, I've been trying to get my mind off of, of what I'm paranoid about. Um, yeah. Oh, the 7 remake. The 7 remake is looking even more gorgeous than anticipated. Um... I think honestly part of the why I'm so impressed by it is because uh, initially when I first got the news I was excited but then as I thought about it I was like well this is at the time I think it was like 2017 when they announced this something like that it was back in it was back when I first saw that tra that teaser trailer I remembered at first I was very excited and then after a while when the excitement kind of settled down I kind of got nervous because the big pattern that I've talked about in a lot of my videos where you know modern day bringing back old stuff uh, the first thing I was nervous about I was nervous that it was going to be injected with all kinds of modern day uh, intersectionality philosophy and I was pleasantly surprised that it, you know, all the trailers have not shown anything close to that. In fact, uh, the anti, the, uh, what do you call them? Well, you know, they've, they've, their names have evolved throughout the times. Uh, I'll go with NPC for right now, just because that was one of my favorites. The NPCs uh, immediately uh, started flipping and saying, you know, Barrett is a, uh, you know, Barrett is problematic. Everything about that character is problematic. And the second I saw that, I thought, okay, my confidence just went up for this game. And it's kind of sad, but like that's kind of the litmus test for me of whether a game is going to be worth it to play is how loud are the NPCs screaming? If they're screaming a lot, you may want to get this, uh, you know. They're screaming mildly. You definitely want to get this. Um, you know, I, I I say it like that because of the fact that, um, you know, there are there are lines that I don't want to cross in my entertainment, um, and I get some outrage. And that, that's a heavy emphasis on some. Um, for the most part, it's just this game of, of overanalyzing the blood out of every single moment. Um, but I was very surprised, uh, I was very excited about that. And then uh, that, for, that trailer before this latest one came out, and that one blew the roof off of my head uh, I was all for that and then this latest trailer came out to like two days ago three days ago maybe and uh, damn uh, they they uh, they assuaged uh, part of my paranoia in the uh, in that trailer because they showed Don Corneo and Don Corneo being a lech uh, showed his full on lecherousness and uh, it wasn't followed by any stupid modern day isms um, 
And so, you know, just that alone was like, okay, yeah, we're, we're getting good. Uh, I get uh, the controversy about Tifa's bust size. Um, I agree with it to a small, to, but only to an extent. Uh, I don't agree with making Tifa like like literally the first thing you see on her is her boobs. You know, like I think that's that's silly and kind of counterproductive in terms of telling a good story or fleshing out a good character. Uh, at the same time, I'm not a fan of this. Let's remove every bit anything that could be perceived as sexually attractive from a game. Uh, that shit is just so absurd. Because I think the reason I find it so absurd is because it's rooted in this weird philosophy now that is pervading where, like, uh, sex, whether it be consensual or not, is some kind of violence or some kind of uh, violation. Um... Obviously, non-consexual se sex is a violation. Uh, non-consexual sex is uh, a crime. It's evil. Um, but then, like, you know, it's like people are going, take it, and they, they run with the ball way too far. It's like, well, okay, now, like, penises are a form of violence. Uh, uh, any, for any symbol of, of testosterone is a form of violence. You know, just this absurdity of let's cure misogyny by creating androgyny. Cool. We'll be back in this exact same argument in a few years. Just with all the roles reversed. Um. Bleh. Sorry about that. Uh, this video was very impromptu. I kind of you know, normally I, I think ahead before I do a video. I kind of didn't do that this time. I was just, my mind's been all over the place. And, you know, I need to work on disciplining my mind to focus on this stuff. Um, on YouTube, mainly. Um, just because I, you know, I don't know. I guess it's that I honestly, I don't see this channel going gangbusters, you know, I don't, I don't want to go through the news every day and scrutinize every little thing that happens, because number one, that stuff is deliberately written to elicit an emotional reaction from you, so ultimately we're kind of playing into their little BS uh, games when we do that. And another thing is just, you know, when you, I understand being aware of the negative stuff, but when you immerse yourself in it, it affects you and it makes you more like what you dislike. Uh, we see, we see this being illustrated all the time. We see, you know, we see how one extreme breeds another and it's like I don't want to do that I don't want to follow the same pattern of us versus them I'm tired of it I want a pra I want an actual solution involving positive actions meaning what people in comics gate do as in producing books that ca that are counter to what the mainstream produces and let the money, let the numbers decide who's the victor on that. And I think clearly Comicsgate is the victor on that because as much as Anti-CG wants to pull out all these numbers from their butts, they can't deny the fact that, well, I mean, of course they're going to try. I mean, they do all the time. But they can't deny the fact that mainstream numbers in terms of you know, book to person sales, not book to shop sales, book to person sales are pitiful. They're sad and they're getting smaller. And these cre comic book creators are so up their own butts. They're just like, fine, I didn't need you anyway. 
I'm gonna do my own thing over here, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, cool. Let's see how, let's see how the company feels when they're spending more to produce your book than they're getting for it, which is pretty much most of them. But it doesn't matter anymore. It's not, you know, because capitalism is evil. Going broke. That's, that's how you be a good person. Anyway, this silly rant is over. Outlaw Nights is coming out in nine days. Oh, and I'm and I'm telling you right now, uh, I'm, when I say it's coming out on the 24th, I mean at the stroke of midnight it's coming out on the 24th. So be ready for that. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully tomorrow I won't be as much of a little butthead uh, as I was in this video. Thank you so much, guys. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>